The next pattern in the Dealing with Generalization series is called Pull-Up Method. Very similar to the Pull-Up Field pattern, the motivation here is that you have methods with identical behaviors or identical results on all of your subclasses, and you want to move that to a single method on the superclass. So in this case, we have our superclass as a customer, which has some behavior in it. Uh, we can get the last bill date, and we can add a bill. Currently, there's no implementation of that, but that's just not necessary for this example. You can imagine what the implementation might be for that. More to the point for this example, we have these subclasses, regular customer and preferred customer. And each one of them can create a bill and charge for a certain amount of time. In this case, the difference between the two is that a regular customer is charged $100 a day, and a preferred customer is charged $80 a day. That's really the only difference. And in fact, we could probably do some additional refactorings on these charge for methods as well, but that's not the focus of this pattern. For this pattern, we look at this create bill method and see that it's entirely identical between all of the subclasses. And so we want to move that to the superclass. Well, the first thing we'll try doing, of course, we'll see where this leads us, is to add that method there. Now, the first thing the compiler is going to tell us is that we can't call charge4 because that doesn't exist on the superclass, only on the subclasses. So we're going to need an abstract charge4 method. So in this case, we're going to make it protected, abstract, give it the same signature. And of course, if that's going to be abstract, then the class itself needs to be abstract. And so one thing we'd have to note here is that if throughout our domain we have actual instances of this class, we would need to rethink our abstractions before we apply any of these patterns. And now what we have here is the compiler is going to tell us that these are overriding the, uh, the parent class. And so we'll throw a few keywords there as well. And then in order for these to override the abstract or implement the abstract method, we're going to have to add a few keywords there. That should give us our initial implementation. And this will be a good time to run all of our tests, make sure we haven't broken anything. And indeed, we haven't really changed any behaviors because nothing is going to call these ones that we've added. And so one at a time, what we'll do for each, each of the subclasses is get rid of that new create bill, and run all of our tests again. And then for each one, again, get rid of it, and run all of our tests. And at this point, just to make sure we still compile. We don't have tests, but we would run them if we did. At this point, what we have is a more generic create bill functionality that relies on some abstractions. And by calling that abstract, it enforces the child classes to implement the same thing. That's pretty much it for the pull-up method pattern. Thanks for watching.